Hello guys, Topis here. Welcome to my new video. Actually, a lot of people ask me this question. How do you control the wave with zero click? Today, we will have a time to introduce some great tips on spam challenge. So, I prepare a video of the lecture that you can learn easily and quickly. Before we start the lecture, I will tell you a few things that are active if you have. Gaming mouse, mouse pad, and zero click skill. First, let's talking about the mouse. The mouse is one of the important elements of Geometry Dash, right? Actually, I don't know how to explain my opinion with English. Um, this is hard. <laughs> I recommend mice with low click pressure and strong repulsion. For example, watch the gaming mouse series. In my case, I'm usually using G Pro Wireless version and G102. Second, mouse pad. If the mouse moves when you click the mouse quickly, it becomes difficult to maintain your CPS. Uh, CPS mean click per second. So this is my tip, flip the mouse pad this way to fix the mouse, then you can spam more easily. Third, it is better to learn about zero click too quickly, and finally adjust spam. I remember someone said drag click scale is faster than zero click scale, but drag click is temporary, also it is difficult to maintain the fast CPS. Also butterfly click too, it is difficult to fine tune. Actually I uploaded a lecture video about zero click tutorial on my channel before, so if you want, check out the video, I will post the link. Ok, let's talking about today's topic. Actually there are so many difficult parts in spam challenge. Cube spam, straight wave spam, straight fly spam, UFO spam or something. I will explain it in detail for each part. First, cube spam. Um, actually I don't know about geometry dash term, so hope you understand my explain. The cube spam has mostly continuous jump balls or red jump pads plus black balls. In the case of continuous jump balls, you can pass by maintaining the maximum click speed you can do. But it is a little different when it comes to red jump pad plus black jump balls. If you start clicking from the moment you step on the jump pad, you are more likely to die. So I recommend you jump once each before entering this part. Yeah, like this. Okay, one more thing. If you think it's hard to spam, you can also use a keyboard at the same time. In my case, when I use only mouse, I have 16 CPS, but if I use the keyboard too, it becomes to 35 CPS over. Next is the straightway spam that many of you guys has been curious about. I thought a lot about how to explain this part so that you can understand it easily. To put it simply, you can adjust the click speed according to speed of the wave. So how do you adjust the click speed? Simple, you can adjust the arm strength when you jitter on the mouse. When I play with normal wave, I'm going to relax a little bit and do it like this. And when I play with mini wave, I have to use a lot of strength like this. You'd better think about how fast you want to click depending on the speed of the wave. To give you a little tip, it is physically impossible for a human to click fast from the beginning. In my case, it goes up slowly from 14 CPS to 16 CPS. So it is important to keep your hands tense before you go into the spike part. If you have a preparation like this, it is easier to beat the level. Ok next, I will explain how to straight fly with zero click. It is similar to a wave part, you just have to control your arm strength. Look, if you click too fast, it goes up like this. On the control, if you click too slowly, it will come down. We can use this well, right? Like this. Ok the last one, UFO spam. Not to mention this, just click fast as you can. Before I say this, you can use the keyboard too, like a Q part. This is the end of my lecture. I hope this video helped you a lot. If the video was helpful, please press the like button. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching my video, I will come back next video.